Oh, I got my A-level results today. Oh, too much glare in my glasses. Now, before I start this video, I'd just like to say this video is really unplanned and unexpected because I hadn't really planned that video this week because I uploaded another music video that I did two years ago with the one I was 15, so check that out if you wanna. So, this video is just gonna say my A-level results. Now, I don't really like doing a lot of unplanned, unscripted videos because I know I tend to babble a lot, which is ridiculous and it's a nightmare editing. Isn't that right, Abdin, is editing? Yeah, it's a nightmare editing. Isn't that right, cameraman Abdin? Right. 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 Now, before I get to, you know, revealing my A-level results, I'd just like to say that, remember guys, I may seem like it, but I'm not this huge, clever, super guy that knows a lot of stuff. I mean, in my videos, yes, I may seem, you know, somewhat witty and all that, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a video, you could just stop and record and all that, but in real life, I'm quite an idiot. I'm quite thick. I mean, at my house, I'm, 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 I'm quite daft. Right, okay. Now, for my English literature and language, I got a D, which is a pass, but it wasn't all that uh, of a good grade. And I know, and I sort of knew I was going to get a bad grade on that because in the actual exam, I was panicking and I couldn't, I, I, I just was in a state of shock and I didn't really get a good, you know, a good timing and everything like that. And um, yeah, so I got a D. But thanks to my creative piece, my short story, do you check out the video here? I think that upped my grade a lot, which helped my ass a lot. And my short story, it was really good, um, apparently. So I got, I got 19 out of 20. For the for that piece of coursework, which was really good. For my performing arts, I got a C grade, which is also a pass, but it wasn't as good. And I know what you guys are thinking. Yo, blood, how you feel that cuz? Well, I didn't fail it, I did pass it, but I just got really bad grades. And the reason for that is a lot of you guys don't know, performing arts has a lot of paperwork. And I wasn't really prepared for that and doing shoddy paperwork and stuff like that and last minute work and stuff. So yeah, I think to my, my performance itself was good, but the paperwork and stuff was rather bad. And finally, for my film studies, I got a B, which is really good, and I passed that, yeah. For my coursework, which was a two-minute film, check that one out, it's called The Time Bomb. I got a really good grade, was it? I think I got a B or something. I got a B, but I was two or something away from an A or something like that, so which was really good. So those were my A-level results, and yeah, I passed them, but I'm going to reset English and hopefully get a better grade. Now, the reason why I don't like exams itself, because I, I know it's supposed to be a tranquil, serene environment and, you know, atmosphere and stuff like that, but I hate that. It just so, it just so, it just gets to me and I don't really like it. And the other reason why I don't like exams itself is because when you go for a job, when you try to apply for a job, they look at your exam results, and I feel like they give you a snap judgment and it's sort of an obtuse um, judgment because they look at your results, which way past they won't look at you now for example you look at my GCC results which weren't the best because I sort of <clears throat> panicked in GCC they won't give you the job because of your exam results I really hate that which it brings me to my next point uh, if you fail like your sciences which I did why does that stop you from getting a job from like I don't know like a sales manager because they stopped me and it's really annoying as well and the jobs I've also applied for is like film jobs which is like filming and directing and all that kind of stuff the excuses I've been getting is because you're too young and too inexperienced even though I started filming and stuff like that when I was 12 and now I'm nearly 18. <gasps> Woo! I'm gonna be 18 in two months which is kind of good and bad because I'm gonna be a man. I'm gonna be a man and it's kind of good as well because it's gonna open new doors for me so hopefully I'll be getting a lot more stuff done. I feel like next year is gonna be a really good year for me. I even told my cousin this after I did my exam. I just feel like it's gonna be a really good year. I don't know about you guys but in my life when something good happens something bad really happens before that. In my life it tends to be bad and good. They tend to you know even now it's like a sort of equilibrium where something bad happens and something good happens because of that and it sort of you know goes like in that and stuff. So that was my A-level results and um, yeah, yeah. so let me know what you guys got for your A-level results, what you hope to achieve. And for you GCSE people, your 11ers, I wish you the best of luck for next week. And that's it for now. Remember guys, geeks are cool. So love, peace and feel shindar. Okay, bye. Now baby girl, you just have to believe. Do you think I'm